but kuna lento. There's something that I forgot. There's a note that I want to do. Okay, let's let's do it and <laughs> let's just do it and then we'll I'll remember it. Come a soft face in the mirror. How I put work together is that um, the ideas um, or the changes that I want to make um, in the choreography, that happens at 3 a.m. <laughs> That is when I, my mind is quiet and I'm going, okay, now I can think. Or if something um, was worrying me in the studio, um, then I go, okay, let's leave it for today. Uh, let me go home and think about it. And at 3 a.m., I'm up and I jot things down and I go, okay, fine. We'll try it this way. And bam, 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 ba, ba, bam, 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 bam. My latest offering is called The Sacrifice. So what I'm doing in The Sacrifice is I am fusing contemporary dance and Tuana dance, which is a dance from Metabatuanas, and also it's part of my culture and heritage. So I wanted to explore um, what the rituals um, are going to be, because the rituals are very different from the Western rituals. Uh, there's a dance um, that is for ask, asking for rain, uh, thanking the ancestors. Uh, when people are sick, they'll do a different dance or they'll sing a different song. Um, so in terms of my structure, I normally uh, work by myself first. So with this work, I started off with uh, Twana dance. Um, I had a teacher, uh, his name is Pinky, and I did about a month, uh, just me and him, uh, so that I could learn uh, the technique um, and really understand it. It's really more for me in the beginning to try and um, figure out how I'm going to put the two techniques together. And um, in the beginning, obviously, they clash because they're not really supposed to be put together. But I've got this thing that if something seems impossible, then I, I really want to go there um, and make it possible. But with Tana dance, mostly, um, when we're doing the rhythm, you have to feel as if you're walking. So it's very different from in Gamu, where you like stamp into the ground. It's, I mean, it's inspired by the, the meerkat, so everything is cute. Light, intricate, elegant, you know, so it's not about bashing the floor so much. You so know. It goes, five, six, seven, and. Stop. So, wait, wait, wait. So then. Um, and what is interesting is that when we were learning Swana dance, um, there's no music. So, well, we sing, but you know, they, you don't just play a track and then move to it. Uh, um, you're making music with the rhythm and your voice. What I do for myself is that I sing it. Because once I sing it, then I go, ba, 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 you know. Because then it's, it's in my brain, you know. But, so I'm not just trying to stamp, you know, just make a song. For me, it's really about um, finding the grief, finding the sensuality of the movement um, and the brokenness and uh, the honesty of it, you know. And I think that over the years I've learned that if um, I'm doing a section or solo or something, um, if it doesn't sit well with me, then I know that it's not right. So I have to work on it until it actually makes sense, until it's like, okay, in my body and I'm grounded and I feel comfortable being able to put it out there. Uh, bend your arm. So, from here, don't keep the arms straight here. So, there. Yeah. Ready? And... What the?
Sounds like you pay with this. Oh, shoot. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah.